Hi all, it's Angela. I am going to show you a painting I did last year for Halloween and it still looks so beautiful. Let me show you. It had so many cells in it. I don't know if you remember, I did this with uh, the guy Brian, Rose Art. Yeah, we did this. I mean, you know, he did a, a, a artist reaction when I did this one. And I still have it, of course. I haven't sold it, but I love it so much. I just wanted to show you close up so you can see all the beautiful cells in there. Yeah. I really love this one so much. It even has a little bit of gold glitter. Because you know me, I'm always using glitter. So I'll just glitter a little bit of glitter on it as I go. Because I've never done it before. So it's a first for me. And this is with a lemon squeezer. You know the lemon squeezer top? The little round thing that you put your lemon on and you squeeze it. So I'm going to put this on the middle of the canvas. And see what comes out of it. So I'm experimenting. So give me some time. <laughs> and I hope that this works out. But you all have a wonderful and lovely day. I love you all. God bless you all. Thanks for watching my channel. And I hope you can hear me because I'm trying to scream at this point. Uh, so you can hear me. Um, so thank you to all the subscribers, all the likes, all the views. And for your continuing support to my channel. I really, really appreciate you all. So let's bring you down so you can see what I am going to do here. Okay, guys, let me go around and turn this all the way down. I'm not going to put this down first because I want to put that here so they don't mix in there. You know, kind of get it going. Get it moving, like to say. You always want to make your background paint uh, pretty thin. Thin layer will get you moving. Thick layer will not get you moving at all. So try to thin your background layer, even if you have to add a little extra water to get the consistency of it being. Just right in the middle. Right there. Now, the color I want to use first is going to be, I'm going to use the burgundy first. Let's see how this comes out. Is it in the middle? Is it a little bit more? Yeah. Just want to make sure it's in the middle. There you go. So let's pour this color over this. Yummy. It looks like fudge ice cream or some kind of burgundy ice cream. Mmm. I think I'm liking that. <laughs> I'm liking it too much. <laughs> and then the next color, I'm going to put the white. Let's see how the white turns out on the top. Yeah, let's. Uh, this is this white is a little thick, so let's hope it works. It's a little too thick, this white, but um. I'm just going to let it go, and uh, let me get my torch. I don't see nothing famous, of, nothing outrageous about this, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. First, there are a little bit of bubbles there. Uh, let's see. I like the way it looks. I like the color. Do you guys like the color? Could you see? Let me uh, bring you up a little bit more. Okay. I'm just going to give it a twist. And maybe I'll just take this off now. That it already, you know, all fell off. The yellow lemon. What do you call this? A lemon squeezer. That's what I'm going to. A little lemon squeezer. Ooh, that came out pretty in there. Look at that, guys. I like that. Came out so pretty. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the carbon black 
in the middle just to have a little, you know, a little grill there. This has a little bit of silicone in it because I don't have any Australia, what do you call it? Flow through. <laughs> it took me a while to get that out, right? <laughs> I have another trick up my sleeve that we're going to do after this because I want to see if it works also. And that is, uh, I'll tell you in a few minutes. Let's just finish this one. I'm going to do probably two pours in one today. Because I never stay with you guys long and do like two pours in one. So what I'm going to do is, should I tilt this or, let me see, I could get my, uh, I have a spinner. I could use a spinner. My lazy Susie. And uh, get this on it. See if it fits. Oh, yeah, it fits perfect. Let's move that to the side. And uh, let's give it a spin and see. Oh, it's a little crooked here. Wait. Okay, there we go. <gasps> I just table my phone, my phone, table. Do you guys see anything? I don't see nothing. <laughs> I feel like the table's a little crooked. Um, uh, should. Let me just put this down here in the bottom to kind of level it off. Because I felt it right away. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. You guys are looking? Let's go. Let's get it going, guys. Let's get it going. And nothing is happening. What else is new? So, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to blow it and see what happens. <gasps> I love the way the black looks. It's gorgeous. Oh. Let me uh, see if I can spin it a little bit more and see if it moves. I think my paint is altogether too thick, so it's not going to probably move as freely as I want it to. But you know, like they say, live and learn. So I'm learning. And it's becoming a blue technique, but in a different way. <laughs> made, with a, made with a lemon squeezer. my blowing it with the straw came out much better you know let me give it another torch a little bit more of a torch because i see a few bubbles coming up and i really don't want a lot of bubbles in there so let's see Jane, all you want is your paint <laughs> slowly, you know. To drag that black up more. So I do like that black uh golden color. I think it makes the whole painting look so much prettier. But I think I have to because how is it going to get to the ends to, to go for? I don't want this to get my stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help it along the way because I can't let it get my stuff. I'll use my little mop. This is an oval mop brush for my painting, so I'm just gonna use it to spread my paint more to the perimeters of the canvas because of course I want the perimeters to all be the same colors. The, the main color of the canvas itself. So 
so. And I think after this, I'm going to stay and do one more painting with you guys. So, stay tuned. You know, I like this background. It's looking kind of pinkish white. It's nice because it matches the actual flower. I say this is a beautiful bloom flower that I made up with the lemon. Well, so much for my husband squeezing lemons this week. No, he squeezed orange. I squeeze lemon because I make a tea with lemon. So he takes all the orange and he makes orange juice. And I make tea with my <laughs> squeezable, wonderful lemons. Yeah. Tea is good for when you have any kind of issues with your lungs, you know. I mean, I had asthma since I was a little girl, but I haven't had an attack. I take very good care of myself, and I make sure that I don't expose myself too much to the cold because I have an allergy to the cold weather. So I have to be very careful not to get too cold. Yeah. Otherwise, that's when the asthma flares up. Yeah. It's so pretty. with that paint going around the edges, the parameters here, because the, you know, the area, the outside diameter of the whole canvas, I like that. It looks kind of a nice pink going around. I like it, I like it, I like it. This is going to dry beautiful. I think so. I say so, yeah. So I'm going to be moving this one to the side, let it dry, do whatever it wants to do. I'm going to do another pour and I'm going to show you. It's going to be a pour with a different object from my house too. Another thing from the kitchen. So I'll surprise you in a few minutes. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. Thank you. That black gets a little pulled out too. It is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I hope it dries as beautiful as it looks. So, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This area right here needs a little bit more paint. Very good. Like that blue here. So, I'm going to take some residue from the cup. Design for the outside of the canvas. <laughs> I hope people like it when I show it off today. It's a little Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, uh, look at that. It's so pretty. I'll even out the sides. Alright guys, I am happy with this, the way it turned out, it turned out so beautiful, that I'm going to just leave it alone now. There we go. And that is the left hand corner. Look at those cells, aren't they beautiful guys? I love this. It's gorgeous, so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I can't take it, it's so pretty. It's really pretty, like a real flower. Look at the middle. <laughs> God knows what I did to that middle, but I like it. This is also pretty. 
yeah i like it it's just a blooming beautiful flower guys all right i'm gonna see you in a few minutes i'm gonna show you guys another one let's give it a few spin and see if anything happens but uh yeah that's it i'll see you in a few minutes love you guys bye